Hey guys, Caleb Brown, New Planner Recruiting here. Hope everybody is doing well. Great to see you. Hey, I had a question recently from a candidate asking me, hey, hey Caleb, I noticed you're an uh, MBA. Should I get my MBA or my CFP? So I just wanted to share sort of my thought process and, and what I shared with this, this job seeker. I mean, we're really talking about two different things, an education credential versus a professional certification. So they're, they're not really apples to apples in comparison. It's more like apples to oranges. But let me just give you a, give you a couple thoughts. So one, the, the Masters of Business Administration is widely recognized, will give you cr usually good credibility with, with clients or prospects. I mean, back when I got mine a long time ago before the CFP was as, as well known as it was now, you know, the, the MBA helped me, kind of like, cl clients see that kind of like a CPA. They, it's just, it's recognized like that. So, so that, that's one thing. I mean, you, going through the process, I mean, it could take you a couple years to go through it. I mean, you are gonna be more knowledgeable about, you know, just all the, international finance, you know, um, time value of money, what, whatever it is. You, you may not necessarily be a better financial planner, but you are gonna know a lot more about business. And for me, I knew that I, the clients that I, I, were, I was working with then were, all had master's degrees or they were JDs or MDs or whatever. So I felt like I needed to have a little bit more education. But I also knew that I might eventually want to have my own business. And it does help you prepare for having your own, your own firm, your own, your own business. Okay, so because you do get a lot of business knowledge and it's just kind of a, a kind of a crash course so hence masters in business administration okay so th those are a couple thoughts on maybe why why you should look at it. it it's it is time consuming i mean i think there's accelerated programs where you can get it done in maybe less than a year but you know if you're out there doing one of the executive programs and you're working it can take a, a while and if you you know family and small kids it's also very time consuming very costly in addition to being time consuming so um, you know, it could anywhere from maybe 15,000 on the low end to probably 100,000 or so is probably what you're looking at, uh, depending on where you go. Uh, my my thought, thought on that is, unless you're getting your MBA from Stanford or Harvard, it probably doesn't really matter where, you, where you're getting it from, as long as it's an accredited uh, business, business school. And, and again, you're, you, you're, it, it may not necessarily help you be, give better advice as a financial planner. Um, except if you're maybe you're just working with a lot of small business owners, it will help position you better, and you you might have uh, some more value that you can add there. But the the good news about where the industry is now is you can go to the CFP board website, and they have all these different programs. And there's there's four programs that I was able to find that have a joint MBA CFP. So you can go through the coursework to get sit for the CFP credential, but also will you'll graduate with your with your MBA in, in financial planning. Most of the master's programs are masters in uh, of science and financial services or masters of science in financial planning. So uh, Cal Lutheran is probably uh, the most well-known and most popular. Uh, Our Lady of the Elms, uh, San Diego State has a program. Uh, and also Spalding University. So I, I was able to buy, find four. If you do a little bit more digging, you might be able to find more. Uh, but, I, but I hope that was helpful. Can it help you in your career? Absolutely. Is it necessary? Not sure. You're going to have to decide that and weigh the pros and cons. You can do it if you put your mind to it and this is what you want to do. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.